Hi everyone, today I'm gonna show you how to build a 555 alarm circuit. This is a battery and a battery holder. This is a LED, I used yellow but you can use any color you wish. This is a 555 integrated circuit. Here we have some jumper wires. And this is a capacitor. It's 47 microfarad capacitor. You can change the capacitance but according to the capacitance the frequency of the LED will change. This is a 10 kilo ohms resistor, a 4.7 kilo ohms resistor, and a 470 ohms resistor. And here we have a buzzer. We start by putting the 555 circuit in the middle of the board, just like this. And then we get the capacitor and we connect it between pins 1 and 2, negative towards pin 1. The pin count for the 555 circuit goes as the following. Pin 1 starting from here, 2, 3, 4. 1 starts from the notch over here. And then there is 5, 6, 7, and 8. Okay. And now we get a jumper wire. And we connect pin 2 to pin 6. Okay, and then we get another jumper wire and we connect pin 4 to pin 8. Like this. And then we get the 10 kilo ohms resistor and we connect it between pin 6 and pin 7 of the integrated circuit. And then we get the other resistor which is the 4.7 kilo ohms and we connect it between pins 7 and pins 8. Alright, and now we take the other resistor and we connect it between the ground and any empty space of 5 uh, slots. Like this. I move it a little bit to the right. All right. And then we get the LED. The short leg, which is the ground or the negative, is the, to be connected with the resistor. And the other leg to be connected in any empty slot. We connect pins 3 of the integrated circuit to the positive pin of the LED. We get the buzzer and we connect it in parallel to the LED. Make sure of the polarities. Here, when you are connected to the ground, you must take care that uh, there is a space here. This and this are not connected, so you have to connect them with uh, wires. Now we connect pin 1 to ground and pin 8 to plus. Alright, here is your breadboard ready. Now we start connecting the power source. Connect the positive to the positive row. Like this. And the negative to the negative row. And now we connect our power source. Here as you see, the LED blinks and the buzzer sounds. That's your circuit ready. If you want it to be like, for example, light sensitive, you have to put the wire here, and then you connect an LDR between the negative and the uh, the power supply here. So when uh, it gets light, 
the circuit will work this can work in your closet so when someone will open your closet it will start ringing or you can connect it to a transistor LDR circuit and put it next to your door so when someone enters his shadow will cause the circuit to work thank you for watching